Perception, reality. Perception, Joe. Maybe it is in the heartland, I don't know where it is in New York. Or perception is TV, networks, stale, old, has-beens. You guys have just done a joint venture with Oprah mm -hmm. and a couple others. Yep. Why'd you do it? <clears throat> is it going to work, promise? And is it the future? Um, you know, it is perception reality. Right now we're in the perception mode. And we're, we're in the sales mode and the perception mode. Around January 1st we'll be in the reality mode. Well, that's right. And we we'll see we, we do it. Um, no, I think TV's, TV's not dead by a long shot. I think you, just, you described it. Uh, viewership is still up. Uh, it's not growing, but it's still up, and it's still the most used medium. Uh, I look at, at Google when Google launched their, their campaign. They bought the Super Bowl. Yep. So I think TV is, is good. But reality, reality and perception is what we do a lot. But in sales, we're usually in reality, as Ben will tell you. What Discovery is doing and what Hasbro is doing, I think, is the transformation of what clients are now looking for in doing new models. Yeah. So um, I applaud Hasbro to, and Discovery to doing their joint venture because clients right now are trying to figure out how they can kind of maybe um, have a little bit more control over the supply yep. and the content. Yep. Um, and you can't do many of them, but Hasbro and Discovery Venture works for both of them. When you're looking at the future of content, of uh, what's the proportion between right now between reality and scripted, and then where is it going, and how do you guys see that as, as the new era of creative content? How, how do you look at it? Well, we, we see it all as just different forms of content and different types of storytelling. Um, the great reality shows are shows that you know tell a story just in a different way. American Idol is a great example of a show that um, you know in the beginning of the season it's like a comedy and at the end of the season it's a successful drama. Uh, and all, all, real, all successful reality shows are no different than successful scripted shows in that they are, they're, it's good storytelling. How do you look at the viewership, Kevin, well, it's, that? It, it's really one of the biggest things of our day is, is measurement and, and capturing these viewers. I mean, we are still all obsessed with those, the, rate, you know, the overnight ratings. You look at that first rating in the morning and that, you know, certainly in the television business, I mean, in the network business, and, and then the press kind of writes the story. But it's really not the story. I mean, we're seeing double digit, we're seeing an average 23, 25% lifts for these shows. You know, we're getting five sets of ratings now. On top of the C3, we're getting the L3 and the L7 and the L same day. And the fact is. What are you is, talking about? <laughs> live. The audience. Y'all know what you're talking about? The audience is okay, there. You okay. said it earlier, the audience yeah. is watching television. You've got to go back to the product. I mean, right. there was a time, I sat on some of these panels a few years ago with some very arrogant digital guys who were really quite sure of themselves. They're still we, arrogant. The, uh, yeah, they're still <laughs> arrogant. But on the content, they're like, it's over. Long form, I long love, form I, I is over. I love that. I love and, that. And, you know, these kind of things make great headlines, but what you find out is that people love television. Yes. They, they, you know, they, they love, love storytelling. They love, uh, they love personality. So that's what I would be really about worried about. If you saw young people going, eh, I don't really care anymore. It's one of, it's, in my, from my perspective, it's, it's perhaps the greatest um, you know, problem that we face in, in the television industry right now is that, is that ratings don't reflect who's truly watching the programs. Yeah. Um, you know, younger people watch television just differently the audience than, is in a lot of places. than the way we grew up. And, um, and, you know, and this is one area in which talent Studios, networks, sales, we're all on the same page here mm -hmm. because the, we're not being paid for really who's truly viewing these shows. Where are you spending your money now and on the screens and investing in the content, are you back in the game? Are you, where are we? Yeah. Where are we? Um, right now, everything is going to holistic communication planning. Yeah. It needs to be the entire holistic picture. It can't be in these silos. And we have created, this industry has created silos by having digital over here to the right mm -hmm. and all the other mediums over here. 
Digital should be embedded. Okay, it is yeah. not a separate entity. In fact, I've seen money spent on the most lame digital <coughs> concepts because it was like, well, we need digital. We're, yeah. we're just picking that box. But the industry created in. this, okay? Yeah. Because it happened so fast. The di you know the evolution yeah. of digital is just, and it's still going on. It doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. You know, when cable and started 25, 30 years ago, it was a slower process. You had to get distribution. Right, right. It was a much slower process. And digital has just been booming and is imploding, and the supply just keeps growing. Back to the point. Uh, when we needed to move bags fly free, I know where we moved. We had a holistic plan, but we were going to drive it on television. Mm -hmm. Because if you ain't on TV, you ain't on. That's mm -hmm. a Texas saying. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't on TV, you ain't on. It's an unbelievably confusing time. I mean, I, I think all of us here are involved with some of the best minds in the business. I've sat with everybody from the corporate suite to the programming to the agency. Nobody really has the answer. I have not walked out of one meeting where I thought, they got it right. <laughs> I mean, I see a lot of people sort of fumbling a little bit, trying a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Still not enough exchange of ideas. And it does need to be holistic and it does need to be a lot more dynamic than it is. Uh, so the bottom line is, yeah, we, we want to engage and, and, and try to do things in a, in a more dynamic way. We have actually a much easier task. So we own all our stuff. So that if yeah. you go to Buddy and say, Buddy, yeah, that make, makes it, it, make yeah, a cake for Amex. So we're trying to add value for clients. Mm -hmm. and, and it mm -hmm. really comes down to value. If it's not value, then it's leverage. And we don't have enough leverage. Yeah. So it's about adding value. And that's what we work with Donna, work with the agencies, work with the clients. Honestly, their ideas. Yeah. Then we turn to guys like Kevin and our, our GMs and say, OK, is that integration true to your brand? Will, will he confuse the, the viewer or will he accept it? I also think we took a step back with the recession for the past two yep. plus years. I mean, it just yep. took everybody, came, took a step back, right. procurement was involved, bottom lines were involved, mm -hmm. you yep. know, st stock prices start, so everybody really kind of put their foot down a little bit on the, on the gas, and on, the, on the brake, right. and from an innovation standpoint. I'm not mm -hmm. saying it was right, right, but the priorities of a lot of major companies really kind of stopped a little bit because they really had to figure out their ROIs and what was happening because of what was going on. I think we're back in. We're now seeing a lot more momentum from our clients that, okay, we now have to move and start pushing it. But the problem is, is there's no one right answer. No, there's not. That is no. the problem. So many times you go, whoa, we've got this Hasbro mm -hmm. toy, and we've got this guy with right. a line sure. of credits this right. mind, and he's done that, and he's got this star involved, and it all sounds But great. as you and I both know, it's, it's all about the, it, the quality what we both of the show. Know is that most things stink. Right. So what happens <laughs> is, it all sounds great. Right. This is a business, this is a tough business. But Kevin, they stink but, even under the old model. I know. So, <laughs> but what I'm saying is then one doesn't work, right. and they go, well, we're out. Well, we can't do that. Well, what if fact. it doesn't work? Well, you, you know, know what? We it might not work. The other issue that I'm sure we have is that a cl um, certain clients' expectations, mm. like if they get into these partnerships, okay, are going, the, you know, they want to they wanna glee. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Those are rare these days, you know. And we're talking about glee being successful on an adult 18 mm -hmm. to 49, and it's a 3.5 rating. I mean, those days of our 12s and our... 6-2 last I checked. Uh, okay. But okay. <laughs> Uh, I think he. I think he knows. Well, we're gonna say okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Official, go check your official. Okay. Right. It's a six two. We're saying in my office that the three uh, five is the new is the new ten. Is it a yeah. ten? You're I'm looking just... at the live rating. <laughs> okay, true. You okay. just said it. That those I, days are uh, over. If I could get it the day it comes out, I gotta wait two weeks. Okay. But all I'm saying is, there's a there's a host of different individuals between creatives, client yeah. expectation, you know, agencies, media corp companies trying to bring all the parties together and you have to kind of get everybody on a partnership on the same playing field yeah. mm -hmm. and that's just hard we do it and we're all trying to get there um, but that's the key yeah. okay so, the, one last, the real the real home run though is when you get a client to help you promote the shows that oh yeah, yeah. And yes we I agree with that, that. With own, you see it yeah. with Idol too. Yeah, it's really. I mean, that's really home run, Using and then you really got to find. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the win-win. Whatever happens. Yep. You know? The question we have is, what's driving it? Is the media economy? Why is it better than the national economy? Right? Is it because of? I won't pick on the networks, but network ratings are down. Are the clients coming here because they're more effective and efficient? In broadcast, we're getting a little bit of that, but the networks are still doing well 
economically. Is it is it going to is it is it going to uh, can it continue? Is it because clients are taking their growth numbers and putting money behind it, or cost cutting numbers putting behind it, mm -hmm. or are they trying to stimulate sales? Mm -hmm. We had a, we had our, our board meeting Monday, and I asked some of the smartest people in the room, "What do you think about next year?" And they don't know. This industry, if we got together to celebrate, dream it, do it. And I've already got the idea, you know, you end the spot with a little couple who just started their own little ice cream store because it's inspirational and people want to live their dreams again. Dream, doom, dreams, do new things. The miracle of America brought to you by the people who get to live the dream every day. That be you. Well done. Okay. That's what we want to do. Nice, nice work. Nice work.